Hi everybody, welcome to Elementary Classical Mechanics, the subject where observing the universe suggests new mathematical and computational approaches that can literally transform our way of modeling and predicting any aspect of the world. Welcome back to the third lecture for Chapter 9, where we're going to take another example of a potential energy function and construct the level curves of the energy in the phase plane. Okay, so above, I have an example of, of a potential energy function, V of S, and it has two local minima and one local maxima. And remember that I could solve for velocity for the energy function in this form. V is plus or minus square root of 2 over m square root of e minus V of s. It has two branches that become equal when e equals V of s, meaning V equals zero. And those two branches are symmetric about the s-axis. Okay, now remember how we did this. We picked values of V of s, we picked values of energy, and we, we plotted the V of s equals constant, where constant was the chosen values of energy. And here we pick four values, E1, E2, E3, and E4. So E1, that value intersects the uh, potential in this region above the lowest local minimum. And it's important to realize that outside that region, V of S is greater than E of S. So that's a forbidden region. And this, this um, the level curve has no values for that value of energy. Okay, now we plot and that particular level curve is the small circle inside this region. And we start off where E is v equal to V of S. That gives us V equals zero. As we move to the right, E is fixed. V of S decreases, meaning V increases. And then as we move all the way to the right, where E equals V of S again, V goes to zero. And we reflect about that for the plus and minus sign, about the S axis. And remember the directionality I've chosen for the um, for the motion, v positive, um, v positive, s dot is positive, v negative, s dot is negative, and then we circulate it in a clockwise sense. So we get a periodic motion, a closed curve inside. Nothing outside. So we go to the next, and there's three forbidden regions, but now the dr drawing V for the internal part, we get a periodic solution encircling the first one in the right-hand potential well, and a smaller amplitude periodic solution because the well is less deep. See that that is translated into v. Um, v into the left-hand potential well. So that's the, the periodic over orbit over on the left side. Okay, now let's take the third energy all the way equal to the energy of the local maximum. Okay, that is a critical point, which is an equilibrium point of Newton's equations. And then as we move to the right, we get something like a closed orbit, the black one here. And as we move to the left, we get another one, but they intersect at that equilibrium point, the fixed point. These are not closed trajectories, periodic trajectories, and I'll come to that a little bit later. They are separatrices. Okay, so we get a pair of separatrices. Then if I take the final energy, that's outside everything. 
And that's a forbidden region. E is smaller than V of S outside. But now the argument we make when we go from left to right where E equals V of S is the same generally. So we get a closed orbit. It has a little dimple where it passes over this point where E minus V of S is less than it is to the left or the right. And we get another closed orbit. So this is a more interesting phase plane. We get two families of periodic orbits or periodic trajectories or closed level curves of the energy function. And we get uh, a family encircling both of those on the outside and two separatrices that intersect at a local minimum. Oh, sorry, a local maximum. Okay, so the local minima of the potential are stable in the sense that I described earlier. Uh, if you start near them, you stay near them. You just oscillate around. The closer you start, the closer you stay. But this local maximum is unstable. I can start near it and I go far away. I may come back, but I still leave the neighborhood. So local maximum critical points are unstable. They're actually saddle points. Some directions move towards the equilibrium point, some move away. And local minima are stable, bottom of the well. There, you may have some intuition for that. Okay, I went through this rather quickly. There's a lot of words in the book if you want to learn this, and I urge you to think about these relations. And I'll come back next time and revise all of the material and, and talk about terminology for everything I've done in this chapter. So, bye for now.